as you know that uh, the four global partnerships of financial inclusion G20 uh, finance track uh, meeting is being held here in uh, Mumbai, uh, 14, 15, and 16. Today uh, is the first day where the side event uh, were uh, organized, which had uh, the inaugural session and symposium. Uh, this uh, symposium was on uh, the digital public infrastructure for energizing the SME sector. Uh, it was a uh, very important uh, uh, priority uh, for the G20, GPFI, as well as uh, uh, I think, uh, most of you know about that uh, leaders uh, summit which was adopted uh, just a few days back also had uh, uh, quite a good number of paragraphs on the SME sector including digital public infrastructure's role in financial so uh, this uh, DPI's uh, symposium for energizing SMEs, uh, there was distinguished speakers, which included uh, Sri Ajay Seth, Secretary Economic Affairs, Ministry of Finance, then uh, Sri T. Ravi Shankar, uh, Deputy Governor, Reserve Bank of India, and uh, Mr. Mohammed uh, Gold, uh, Vice President, International. Finance Corporation One Bank Group. The symposium uh, uh, centered around the uh, vital theme MSMEs for higher growth through uh, digital public infrastructure and credit guarantee program. The SME sector system also uh, organized. Uh, also, the, uh, additionally, the World Bank presented uh, the G20 policy recommendations for financial advancing financial inclusionary productivity gains, which were also adopted in recent uh, declaration, G20 leaders declaration. Uh, the presentation was made by the World Bank. Uh, in the meeting, these, uh, we have seen the very uh, high quality discussions on these uh, two uh, symposium, where it was uh, highlighted how digital public infrastructure can contribute uh, to the growth of SME sector and how SME sector, despite being a major contributor in terms of uh, employment generation and opportunity creation across the world, more than 50% employment are generated across the globe by the SMEs, but yet they face enormous amount of challenge in terms of access and finance. So the, these two uh, events, the symposium, extensively discussed on, on those and how this can be uh, uh, overcome through, uh, through use of digital public infrastructure like uh, uh, Aadhaar kind of digital uh, 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 verifiable identity then uh, low cost payment and the data governance uh, issues how this can be uh, used across giving the examples of uh, India and also we had seen uh, the, the, the technical uh, pilot uh, exhibition of the, uh, the ONDC uh, of India and Prop Prop of Singapore, how a business can uh, leverage from uh, digital public infrastructure uh, system. So, uh, and the, the next two days, the main plenary uh, will talk on the ongoing agenda that is there in the GPFI, which would uh, include that discussion on the uh, implementation of the high level principles for digital financial inclusion. That would uh, include entire area that uh, the, the remittances, cost of remittances, reduction, that updating the national remittance plan. As you know that uh, GPFI and leaders have aligned its uh, objectives in terms of reducing the uh, remittance cost below 3% uh, by 2030. Uh, and then uh, various good practices on uh, SME financing, SME finance uh, regulation, 
and uh, also there is a, a important uh, symposium seminar on uh, 16th uh, on the uh, how consumer protection and financial literacy can be enhanced uh, through digital public uh, infrastructure uh, financial input, uh, yeah and uh, we uh, thus uh, look forward to productive discussions fruitful partnership and actionable outcomes that will benefit not only our country but uh, global community as a whole and uh, this uh, GPFI global partnership for financial inclusion of G20 is a, a working group and forum, inclusive forum, that we not only work for G20 countries but beyond. So we uh, look forward to have very productive uh, discussions and you all know that uh, very, very uh, important two documents have been produced uh, under Indian Presidency. One of them is uh, uh, G20 policy recommendations for advancing financial inclusion and productivity gains through digital public infrastructure. And another path breaking uh, uh, new financial inclusion action plan for the three years starting from 2024 to 2026. These two documents uh, have been prepared under active uh, guidance of, of uh, India G20 presidency and that was adopted and uh, endorsed unanimously by all members, including our leaders. So, uh, with this, uh, let me stop and uh, my name is Gaurav Narula and Namaskar. Uh, sir, I'm from the True Hunt Online. Sir, uh, as you mentioned that uh, it is a continuous process. So, I would like to uh, take your attention towards the G20 Summit in Seoul in uh, 2010, which talks about, of course, with the Global Partnership for Financial Inclusion. It says about uh, the leaders, G20 leaders says about recognizing financial inclusion is one of the main pillars and after that, uh, you know, after the implementation plans and uh, the three key implementation partners were also suggested. And in 2012, World Bank SME, uh, SME Finance Forum was joined uh, with GPFI. And after that, OECD joined GPFI in 2013. And after that, 2014, International Fund for Agriculture Development was talked about. So sir, uh, in these progressive time with G20 presidencies uh, heading by different different countries, uh, what uh, sort of analysis procedure uh, would be done in uh, the presidency which India is heading today and would, uh, whether those uh, points would be also be discussed that at a conclusion that where we are today and where we started. So can you throw a light on this sir please? Uh, if you see uh, these, how, what are the, uh, if you see the presidency's uh, uh, the one year action uh, plan, and so that has, and also the GPFI is uh, work is guided and managed by something called financial inclusion action plan, which is a three years program. So uh, uh, that, the three years program, uh, various programs, uh, there, is, there is, for example, the ongoing one, uh, FIAP 2020. One of the deliverables is that uh, the assessment, how they, they have done, how this uh, uh, countries, how the implementation has been done. So that uh, has been uh, one of the agenda and that will also uh, have the provision for uh, assessing that what has been the progress. That is one of the deliverables. So therefore, this kind of analysis are already part of it. So you mentioned India's, uh, it has been seen with this presidency what India is heading in 2023. It's more vibrant uh, with a more say in the, uh, in, in the global arena. So what are the, those advantages which India is uh, taking away with this global, uh, with this uh, 2023 uh, G20 presidency? What are your, uh, what is your take on that please? As I said, that uh, this these two very important because since I look after the uh, GPFI, so that is the uh, uh, area where I, I would like to concentrate myself. If you see that the, both the document is uh, a G20 policy recommendation for, for advancing financial inclusion, uh, uh, that, is, uh, that that has been adopted by uh, World Bank 
under India's uh, G20 presidency. Uh, that is a unique, and for the first time, this uh, kind of documents have been adopted and unanimously. So uh, that is a, a very good document, and I'm sure that it will be uh, used and referred long time to uh, go. Uh, this kind of reports uh, would definitely generate. lot of uh, demands for DPIs and uh, and also the digital uh, this uh, the financial inclusion action plan three years from 2024 to 26 that uh, has uh, very unique elements. For example, it has the vision of, uh, that and the, this document talks about the universal financial inclusion for the first time. Then uh, it, talk, it talks about DPI and continue to uh, innovate the, and use the uh, innovative technologies to uh, reduce payments and get, gain efficiencies. Then it, it, it talks about the engagement with the global south countries. It talks about the knowledge sharing and technical. So these are the unique things. These are the very, very uh, uh, important takeaways from the, this particular part. Okay.